Hey, happy start of the week. I'm being intentionally vague in case I don't upload this on Sunday. I watched a few journaling videos and I want to try out a new format, so let's plan together and prepare for the week. There are a few things I want to get done, and I also want to block out and plan for my content creation this week for the first time. There's one thing I don't normally show while I'm journaling. I'm normally following my Google Calendar for any events that I really have to remember. And I also normally have Spotify running in the background and I'm singing along. I feel like writing in the Passion Planner reinforces the tasks at hand for me. And I've always heard that you always remember stuff better when you write it down, right? So let me know if you'd like to see a journaling workspace set up. Is that a thing? Can I make it a thing? I'd show you what's on my desktop while I'm journaling and the desk I'm journaling with slash at. Anyway, let's jump in. So the Passion Planner setup is pretty freewheeling for when I skip a week of planning. They have dated and undated types of planners, and I deliberately bought the undated one so that I could skip weeks if I needed to. The other cool thing is that there's a monthly view at the beginning that I definitely underutilize along with a reflection area for the past month to jot down your most memorable moments of the month, as well as how you can improve upon the next month. Um, as you can see, I didn't fill out January yet, but I think I did December, and it took me, I think, around an hour to plan this whole month's layout out. So let's go back to planning out this week. Here is what last week's layout looked like. The highlighting got a little too chaotic for me, and I think I'm going to try something a little different this week, as I said. Okay, and here's where I want to show you what I plan with before we get started. A few of you guys requested this. I've got these Pentel Arts color pens. I think I bought them a long, long time ago off of Amazon or Michaels, and they have a huge variety of colors, so I'll probably use a few of these for this new style that I'm trying out. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. And then I have my trusty tried and true zebra mild liners. Those are the best highlighters for journaling, in my opinion. They actually have them at Costco right now in a huge pack for, I think, $30. So I can link that and a little Amazon affiliate link down below. And finally, I have a Faber Castell Fine Line pen. Um, I got this as a gift a long time ago from a friend. This is my favorite pen, and I'm actually going to buy more at Michael's today because it does not bleed at all. Um, maybe a little, but nobody's perfect. It's, it's pretty darn close to perfect, though. I've also tried these Muji pens, and they sometimes run out of gel too quickly for me, but gel pens are a great option. Some weeks I'll also use a pencil, especially if I decide not to film or stream on Twitch. Sometimes I also stream my journaling on Twitch um, and talk to chill people while I stream. I use the Pentel P207 Sharp Mechanical Pencil and the Sanford Magic Rub. Both are just alright, not super amazing. If you have any recs on pencils, drop them below because I'm always looking for new gear. And that's all the gear that I'm going to use today, so let's do this thing. So this is the week layout. You have an area to place the week oven along with areas to add your dates. The left hand corner shows this week's focus along with a section for noting good things that happened during the week. Let me just pause and say that this is my favorite part of the Passion Planner and why I decided on it over some other journals, also because they had a really good Black Friday sale. The good things that happened area really focuses my positive energy into the week and keeps the negative out. I always look back on it um, almost every day. I always try really hard to stay positive, but it takes a lot of effort and journaling and writing things down and reminding myself that everything is okay is a really good way to push negative energy away. It's a great outlet for stress as well as negativity. So going down, you'll find a personal to-do list and a work to-do list, organize by priority. And then the rest of the week layout is dedicated to planning out your week in half hour increments. There's also a section up top on the weekly layout that says today's focus. And sometimes you won't have a focus for the day and that's totally okay. 
Finally, you have the space of infinite possibility. There's lots of room for mapping out your passion plan or creating more to-dos or habit tracking. I've seen some people use this area pretty creatively for actual journaling or for the list building. This passion planner is definitely your oyster, even though it's not a fully customizable bullet journal. So I'll start filling in the dates for the week. We're planning for February 15th to the 21st. I'll also add in this week's focus. I'm no longer fully behind in my content creation course. I'm so glad I was able to catch up, but I still need to queue some content for the next few weeks for my food Instagram, as well as my regular one. I haven't really been going out and taking photos, so I'll probably need to find some footage from previous years or, you know, just not post. That's totally okay too. Um, I also have not been steadily running every day, so I gotta get back on that wagon too. And this is the super simple style that I found from a fellow YouTuber, Chelsea Brown Designs. She tried out seven different planner styles, and I'll link her video in the description box below if you'd like to check it out. It was really informative, and I liked this one the most, but I might try another new style next week. I just thought that this one was probably the cleanest and easiest to execute. It looks so nice! Definitely got to get my fitness in for the week and then my work schedule. Those are both kind of my non-negotiables every week because A, I need a paycheck and B, I work out for my mental health.
So I'll use the same style throughout this journaling video and now I'm going to start putting in my daily meals. I will say I do regret drawing the arrows at the very beginning and you'll see why soon or maybe you can already see it now. So you know if you do try this out, draw the arrows after you've planned everything out so that it looks cleaner and more pleasing to the eye. So one of the things that I'm learning with this academy is that content creation, even part-time, needs to be blocked out. You need time to brainstorm, to create good quality content. I feel like before this course, a lot of my stuff was just one-offs or half attempts at making a few videos. I had fun, but it was never really structured in a way that I felt like was sustainable. And now I'm trying this week to fill in the time that I'm going to use to create stuff for you guys and hopefully that means I'll have more meaningful content and also more time to plan and execute everything that I need. Also note that I always felt like I didn't have time until I started time blocking which is something I do through Toggle and a lot of other services like Google Calendar. I'll probably get into that in another video too. Um, I just wanted to note, this may not be for everyone. I'm just a pretty anxious person, so being hyperproductive and proactive about where I use my time is essential. Otherwise, I will just not do anything. And that's, you know, that's something I'm totally working on right now.
So time for some finishing touches, just a few housekeeping items as well as slotting in a game of Among Us at some point. Is anyone else super hyped for the new map on Among Us? I really can't wait, and I feel like it's been a while since they teased it. Anyway, I really like how easy this journaling style is. I feel like I'm finishing my timekeeping faster and it also looks really cute, if I do say so myself. I might do this again um, on a later day. These are all the finishing touches, putting in my daily focus. This week looks really productive so far, but I'll definitely slot a break in between the hard days, and I'm also really looking forward to hiking on the weekends. Uh, sometimes I also forget about the to-dos that I didn't finish from last week, so I will normally check back and make sure I got them all before putting in even more to-dos for this upcoming week. Thank you. 
And there you have it. Thanks for tuning in again to plan for a productive week with me. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this from me in the comments. And I hope you have a really great week. Catch you next time. Bye.